Hey everyone, so in this problem we have two slides that are smooth and and they both make an angle alpha to the horizontal and two balls are released at the same time with zero initial velocity and it takes this ball A time T1 to reach the ground and it takes the ball B time T2 to reach the ground. So we have to find the time at which the distance between these two balls were minimum. Let's say we have a particle that is moving with some velocity V1 and let's say we have another particle moving with some velocity v2 like this. So if we want to comment on the minimum distance uh, between these two particles, it is always better to take one of these particles as the frame of reference and observe the other particle relative to this particle. So that is what we are going to be doing here. So what we are doing is, this is ball b and this is ball a. So first of all, let's just find out time t1 and t2. So so the acceleration of ball A relative to ground is g sine alpha down the incline. And similarly, the acceleration of ball B is also g sine alpha down the incline. So now as we know the acceleration is constant, we can use S equals ut plus half at squared. And let's say this uh, length of this longer slide is capital L and the length of the smaller side is small l. So we can say, L equals half g sine alpha t1 squared. So from here, this would be our equation number one. And we can also similarly write small l equals g sine alpha t2 squared. And this will be our equation number two. Okay, so let's take B as a frame of reference. So for that, we have to reverse this acceleration and add it to A. And also I have to make this a little bit longer because both of them are equal in magnitude. So this would be g sine alpha as well. And also now the net acceleration of b is zero. So yeah, it would be something like this. And this angle is going to be alpha and this is also going to be alpha. So this is what b will observe a to b. Now, if you can see carefully, uh, the net acceleration in this case is in this direction. Right. So B will observe A to move along this horizontal line. Now clearly as we can see the minimum distance is going to be this, this vertical line. So I'm going to redraw the diagram. So B will observe A to move along this horizontal line. Now this distance small d is going to be the minimum distance between them as uh, this is perpendicular to the line of motion of A. Now we took uh, the, now the length of the longer slide is L and the length of the smaller side is small L. Now, we have been given that these two angles are alpha, which means, uh, which means this length is also going to be L, right? Because these two angles are equal, which, which means the sides opposite to them must be equal as well. So this distance is going to be capital L minus small L by geometry. What is the net acceleration here? I mean, for that, we can just take the components, right? So now let's find the relative acceleration of A. So the component of G sine alpha along this line is going to be G sine alpha cos alpha, right? And similarly, the component of this G sine alpha will also be the same. And the net acceleration will be 2G sine alpha cos alpha. We have determined the relative acceleration to be 2G sine alpha cos alpha. Now, all we have to do is uh, simply we, uh, now again, we are going to be using s equals ut plus half a t squared. So let's say if I term this point O, the distance a O is going to be small capital L minus small l times cos alpha. And this must be equal to u is zero half uh, acceleration we determined to be 2g sine alpha cos alpha times t square. We had to find the t. Now capital L and small l, we can eliminate from equations one and two. So cap the difference of those will become half g sine alpha times t1 squared minus t2 squared. Solving further and from here we can get the value of t to be square root of t1 squared minus t2 squared upon. So that was the solution for this problem guys. Uh, if you enjoyed please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.